the 36 T of Trent Dorman outside him the four car to Rowlett. That's Tracy Adams. Third row, the 98 of Troy Tindall, 7-11 Michael Daniels. And the fourth row, the 88 XX of Clyde Dunn Jr. And the 1S of Ronnie Sigmund. Four, eight cars, eight laps to this. It's green flag is in the air. Danny Florence going to take over your lead, but Trent Dorman in the inside. Move for your lead down the back straight away. New leader, Trent Dorman in the 36 team machine. Trent Dorman was a rocket off of turn number two, and he looks like he's going to lead lap number one. Oh, he got a much shot back there deep in the field. And Tracy Adams, Troy Tindall, and Ronnie Sigmund get together. They figure it out as Clyde Dunn Jr., a little freaky, coming to life. He's up in the third at the starting eight. Five positions passed in just one and a half lap for the 88 Triple X car. Little freaky Clyde Dunn Jr. on the move. Clyde Dunn Jr. definitely has a fast race car, and he looks like he's going to the outside of the number 50 road car. Now he goes to the inside, coming off of two. Is he going to have it? We'll find out how the back straightaway door to door into three and four, and Danny Forrest just lifts off and says, I don't want no part of you, little freaky. You're going to the front in the 88 X MB Customs machine. He is on a move right now. Trent Dorman, you're about to, oh, Bill Blue and Danny Forrest together. Florence having a mechanical issue. Sigmund now looks underneath Adams. That's going to be for fifth. Three car battle now for fourth. Clyde Dunn is on an awesome charge from the back all the way up to second. Can he catch the first placement? He's halfway down, half to go. Four down, four to go. And your eight lap heat race here. Heat race number one for the USA Modified Division. On the turn number four, your leader is Trent Dorman. Second, Clyde Dunn Jr. Third is Bill Blue. Fourth, Denny Forge. Fifth is Ronnie Sigman. Sixth, Tracy Adams. Seventh, Michael Daniels. And eighth is Troy Tindall. Looks like Clyde Dunn closed the gap there going into one and two. Coming off of two, he broke. First placement puts a little bit of ground on Clyde Dunn. Clyde Dunn Jr. undefeated halfway through the season. He's been undefeated today with most people, but he's got to run down your 2013 track champion of Trent Dorman to the goal at the line. One of Danny Florence off the speedway and one and two white flag. One more lap to go for Clyde Dunn Jr. to track down Trent Dorman. Can Trent Dorman hold off the hard charging Little Freaky as they go into one and two? Little Freaky closes, but he's up the racetrack. That's definitely not going to help him in catching down Trent Dorman. Dorman slips. Dunn closes, but too little, too late. Yo! Winner in the 36T, Trent Dorman. Second, 88, Clyde Dunn Jr. Third, B23, Bill Blue. Fourth, the 1S of Ronnie Sigmund. Fifth, the 7-11 of Michael Daniels. Sixth, the 4 of Tracy Adams. And sixth, the 98 of Troy Tindall. And the cars, eight laps. Green flag is not going to fly. Not going to fly. As it looks like we're going to be warning them up, warning them up. As I don't think the green flag is going to stay. As the yellow flag comes out, Wes Goodwin, our flagman, not liking the start there. CJ, you ever been guilty of getting one of these false starts before? You're a little uh, young guy. You're the antsy uh, group of the bunch probably, huh? Definitely I have. Uh, I've been guilty of jumping the start and uh, not getting on the, the loud pedal soon enough when the, when the leader goes. Now when you get your warning, have you ever done it again and got put back a row before? I actually lucked out. I've got two warnings before, and I, after that, I just you know just let the other guy go and try to beat him down in the next corner. But uh, I have been put back a row before, and it definitely taught my taught me my lesson to to go when the pace leader goes, not before. As we're gonna try to get it to go once again, Greg Tass and Joseph Casper was on that front row. Looks like Casper had to go to pits to fix his hood. It looks like the hood is up on the 52 car and he can't really see that well. And he's going to go out there anyway. I 
I'm not sure if the officials are going to let the 52 race like that. That seems to be a danger. And it looks like he is not going to be able to race. Move up Steve McMacken in the 41 car. Six cars, eight laps of this. It's green flag in the air. McMacken going to have your lead. Troy Taylor put in a second. Skip O'Neill makes the move up in the third. Is now Max Eddie Thomas looks under your post sitter task. That's going to be for fourth. He gets it done. Taylor McMacken, the two veterans going at it up front. As the two late model drivers behind them of Skip O'Neill and Max Eddie. Max Eddie with a little bit more experience for sure. Actually a lot more in a modified sitting back and forth. At the line, you're leading the 41 in with Steven McMacken, second to Kendall, third, Skip O'Neill, fourth. Max Eddie Thomas, fifth on his ship, and sixth is the 82X of Greg Pass. Troy Taylor has been known to be a fast car out here in just about any track he goes to. Let's see if he can't track down the leader here. It's a little bit tough. The track was slippery earlier, but now it looks to be backing up. And uh, you would know just as much as everybody, CJ, that once this track gets a little grippy, it's kind of hard to pass. Once it gets tacky, it's hammered down all the way around and pretty much equalizes out all the cars. We still see a little bit of a rooster tail off the back of these cars. So there's gonna, there's still some dirt getting uh, slopped around out there, but it looks like Skip O'Neill actually is catching both drivers of Troy Taylor and McMacken. That gap was about the same as it is from O'Neill to Matt Zetti, and now it's closed as they're all evenly spaced. Cars number one, two, and three, the 41 M, 56, and eight. Machine this time by four down, actually five down, three to go. The top three cars have pretty much separated themselves from the rest of the field. Top three walking away from the field with two more laps to go this time by two more to go for the 41 M. Steve McMacken. And the white flag coming out is Greg Tass being directed to the infield. White flag will up to go for Steve McMacken in the 41M machine. Taylor second, third O'Neill, fourth Max Eddy as Donnie Ship and Crack Greg Tass pulls off the raceway. And of a turn number four, there's your winner, the 41M of Steve McMacken. Second going to the 56 of Troy Taylor. Third, the eight car Skip O'Neill. And fourth, the 82 of Max Eddie Tommy. The main event. Green flag, turn four. green flag is in the air, 15 laps to distance. In the one and two we go, Ronnie Sidney going to have the lead, Clyde Dunn Jr. already up in the third, he's looking to get underneath Max Eddie for second. Side by side battle for fourth in the three and four, Skip O'Neill is, Trent Norman has a mechanical failure entering the corner, he's able to get off the raceway. He comes back on the raceway and going to come to a stop just yet. Yellow flag is out for Trent Dorman. Something breaking. 14 remaining. Ronnie Sigmund, your leader. Green flag is out. Clyde Engineer up in a second. Now he's looking underneath Sigmund. Sigmund trying to bow back on the outside line. But Clyde Dunn in the MD Custom 88XX is going to take the lead in the three and four. Little freaky looks to defend his three streak win. Now 
as the MV Customs come into life. Clyde Dunn Jr. on a roll as we got contact in turn two with Trent Dorman and Danny Florence. We stay clean, we stay green. Dunn, your leader, Sigmund second, Thomas third, fourth is now Taylor, fifth is Skip O'Neill, sixth, McMacken, seventh, Daniels, eighth, Blue, ninth, Adams, and running in the top ten is Donnie Schiff. Troy Taylor, the man on the move right now, looking underneath Matt City Thomas. Thomas and Taylor going at it, duking it out as they're almost three wide behind him as well. But that battle is for third between Taylor and 80. Tom, Taylor on the bottom, Thomas up top. Taylor gets third on the turn number two, new third place car. The 56 of Troy Taylor on the move. Way home for Clyde on Junior 7, down 8 remaining. Battle for a second developing between Troy Taylor and Ronnie Sigmund. It doesn't look like it's going to be a battle anymore as Taylor gets it on the turn 2. 56 of Troy Taylor in the second, but he's going to need a caution if he wants to contend with the 88 car. Full straightaway lead for Clyde on Junior. Debris on the front straightaway possibly. I see on the front straightaway. There could be something else out there possibly turned two as well. A few months. We're going green flag racing off turn number four. Sigmund's got second from Taylor at the line. Taylor's been working the bottom. Everyone else has been up on that top side group. Taylor up in his second with Dunn Jr. Flying fast in that MB Customs number 88 car. Battle with her, Mike City Thomas looks underneath Ronnie Sigmund. Thomas on the inside of Sigmund. Sigmund on the outside line. Thomas working the bottom groove. And Thomas gonna get third up the turn report, but Sigmund powering back on the outside line. Thomas gonna be able to get third. Sigmund kind of diamonds that exit there. Able to hold off Steve McMacken, who's closed in as well. This time by, it'll be Oh, down the back straight away, Donnie Ship around. As we got four more to go, yellow flag is going to wave. Max Eddie and Taylor battle for second, not anymore. Taylor going to get the second spot away from Max Eddie Thomas. Clyde Dunn Jr. dominated at the Devil's Bowl. Two to go at the line. Taylor runs second. Third, Matt Teddy. Fourth, McMacken. And fifth now is Ronnie Sigmund. Decent battle between Sigmund and Skip O'Neill. As Trent Dorman sticks his nose in there. Fifth, sixth, and seventh in a battle. White flag coming out this time by one more lap to go for a little freaky Clyde Dunn Jr. Of a turn number four, dominant once again. Your winner, Clyde Dunn Jr. Second to Troy Taylor, third Max Eddie, first Nick Mack and battle for fifth.
And Sigmund gonna get it six. O'Neill seven. Dorman eight. Daniels ninth. Florence and tenth. USA modified Good. victory lane, and I feel like I'm blessed. I finally get to see you. <laughs> For once, you won a couple of times out here. You ain't been able to get to victory lane, uh, but tonight you did. And uh, man, what's up with this MB Customs? It seems every since you every every since you got this car. You've been a, a lightning bolt. What's going on? Not just here, but everywhere. I don't know. And you know, you get a good combination with a car, a driver, and a crew. You know, and I guess the rest speaks for itself. You know, uh, I think everybody sees what the caliber car that the, you know this car is, and we sure are lucky to have it. Definitely, you see Rodney Sanders tearing it up on USMTS Tour. You're tearing it up on the Toms. You're dominating Texas. He's dominating the globe. Both drivers from Texas, so that's all that matters. But uh, it just seems like MB's got it figured out. Oh, yeah. Them guys, you know, they put a lot of work into their cars, and uh, they work good with their customers. And, uh, you know, we all work together in a circle. And, you know, it's a racing family. And when you can get the information you need, I believe – a lot of different race cars could be just as fast as this one, but uh, you know, we got them chasing us right now. We got some hungry dogs behind us, and uh, sooner or later it'll come to an end. This winning streak, but for right now, we are uh, enjoying it. Definitely, uh, it's not just race car. Of course, there's a lot more things under the car that put together in the person behind the wheel. You've been one of the fastest modifieds that most people have ever seen at this track here lately, and. Uh, it just seems to be very fast. You're very quick. Um, what is it about just team effort? Is it set up? Is it the driver coming to his own? What is it that is just making this car so dominant at every stop it goes to? When that trailer pulls in, it seems like everybody else should just pull out. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, when you got a good crew like I do, you know, I got Lee. He's the mechanic, the crew chief, and I got Bill. When you got guys like I do that's devoted and are here for the right reasons and you got the right equipment, with my dad being the owner, he gives us the best stuff that money can buy. And uh, I believe now we got the, the equipment that where we need to be, it's going to be hard to outrun us anywhere, anytime, any place. And I think we don't have to say nothing about it. It speaks for itself. We, we don't like to talk. We just like to, to show it on the track. And uh, coming here is where I cut my teeth at. And... You know, I know this track like the back of my hand, and that helps a lot. And racing on the road with USMTS, you know, that that you gain a lot from that. You got to follow the best before you outrun them. And uh, we definitely learned a lot. And when you come back home, it pays off. Yeah, you did a lot of good races here when USMTS swung into town. I bet you're, like you said, you know, this track better than anywhere else, probably like the back of your hand. How upset are you that both of our USMTS races rained out this year? I'm sure this track is probably your best shot at, at you know, sweeping the track for those USMTS ev events. Oh, yeah. You know, it seems like every time their schedule is to come here, with uh, it rains or, or, or something. And uh, I feel like this is one, if not the best chances to win a USMTS. Another race is here at my home track. And, uh it just it's a big letdown when it happens and uh and it you know and it just i would like to bring them guys here it just there's a lot of good modified racing to be done it ain't got done and i hope in the near future we can get them back here and uh put on a show for the fans who helps you on this race car week in a week out any sponsors etc yeah young chevrolet mb custom dunn motorsports smiley's racing products uh Integra Shocks, uh, my dad owns the car. He's awesome. Without him, I couldn't do it. Then I got Lee Walker. He's my crew chief. Then I got Bill Barley. Then I got Bill, another Bill. And if it wasn't for any of these guys, I, it'd be hard for me to come out here and do this stuff. So I feel blessed to be here and doing what I'm doing. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You're winning the U.S. The 36 of Trent Dorman outside him, the four car, Rowlett. That's Tracy Adams. Third row, the 98 of Troy Tindall, 711 Michael Daniels. And the fourth row, the 88. XX of Clyde Dunn Jr. and the 1S of Ronnie Sigmund. Four, eight cars, eight laps to this. It's green flag is in the air. Danny Florence going to take over your lead, but Trent Dorman in the inside. Move for your lead down the back straight away. New leader, Trent Dorman in the 36 team machine. Trent Dorman was a rocket off of turn number two, and he looks like he's going to lead lap number one. Oh, he got a butt shot back there deep in the field. And Tracy Adams, Troy Tindall, and Ronnie Sigmund get together. They figure 
Bullets having a mechanical issue. Sigmund now looks underneath Adams. That's going to be for fifth. Three car battle now for fourth. Clyde Dunn is on an awesome charge from the back all the way up to second. Can he catch the first placement? He's halfway down, half to go, four down, four to go, and your eight lap heat race here, heat race number one for your USA Modified Division. On the turn number four, your leader Trent Dorman, second, Clyde Dunn Jr., third, it's Bill Blue, fourth, Denny Forge, fifth is Ronnie Sigman, sixth, Tracy Adams, seventh, Michael Daniels, and eighth is Troy Tindall. Looks like Clyde Dunn closed the gap there, going into one and two, coming off of two, he floats. First placement puts a little bit of ground on Clyde Dunn. Clyde Dunn closes, but too little, too late. Your winner in the 36T, Trent Dorman. Second, 88, Clyde Dunn Jr., third, B23, Bill Blue, fourth, the 1S of Ronnie Sigmund, fifth, the 711 of Michael Daniels, sixth, the four of Tracy Adams, and sixth, the 98 of Troy Tindall. And of course, eight laps, green flag is not gonna fly, not gonna fly. As it looks like we're going to be warning them up, warning them up, as I don't think the green flag is going to stay. As the yellow flag comes out, Wes Goodwin, our flagman, not liking the start there. See, that is Clyde Dunn Jr., little freak A, coming to life. He's up in the third at the starting eight. Five positions passed in just one and a half lap for the 88 Triple X car. Little freaky Clyde Dunn Jr. on the move. Clyde Dunn Jr. definitely has a fast race car and he looks like he's going to the outside of the number 51 car. Now he goes to the inside coming off of two. Is he gonna have it? We'll find out how the back straightaway door to door into three and four and Danny Forrest just lifts off and says, I don't want no part of you, little freaky. You're going to the front in the 88 X MB Customs machine. He is on a move right now. Trent Dorman, you're about to, oh, Bill Blue and Danny Ports together. Ty Dunn Jr. undefeated halfway through the season. He's been undefeated today with most people, but he's got to run down your 2013 track champion of Trent Dorman to the goal at the line. One of Danny Florence off the speedway at one and two white flag. One more lap to go for Clyde Dunn Jr. to track down Trent Dorman. Can Trent Dorman hold off the hard charging Little Freaky as they go into one and two? Little Freaky closes, but he's up the racetrack. That's definitely not going to help him in catching down Trent Dorman. Dorman 